Want all the 3D here? Two project files of these included in the description. Keep watching for the quality, shakes in 3D as well as useful tips for smoothness. Here is me showing my gloss settings plus coloring. I use a separate one for 3D. I also don't use the same coloring for every 3D edit I make as my edits would look trash since it is based on the avatar and many other factors. This isn't a giveaway video or an in-depth on everything, just so you know. As I have over 10 glosses and so much 3D for some, it would take hours to explain every detail. I also lost most of my project files from 2022 since I got a virus and got hacked. Apart from the project files, I put three environments that I've used before and are good for Roblox and 3D tech specifically. Please note I had around 20 environments I've used for Element 3D since 2021. Also to make these really good 3D quality edits, it takes hours, so even with the tutorial, since there are like 10 steps per edit plus, rendering, rewatching the edit to look for choppiness, plug-in effects, especially Sapphire, BCC, and Twixter also wrote a brush crashing your after effects. Particles will be the next step after the quality of 3D here. I won't give the numbers of the magic bullet looks as I am too lazy to open it, and they aren't a big part of quality. They mostly just make your 3D more bright and pop out more. One thing I forgot to mention was that I am not walking you guys through any steps, sorry, as that would be at least 20 specific steps. And I have a life outside of making tutorials and overcomplicating myself about explaining in a way in which I can make this video in less than 10 hours not get a mental breakdown from prioritizing YouTube too much, even though YouTube only gives lots of views if I am active, get some sleep, post one or two shorts, reply to comments and DMs, and study for the exams I have sometimes, twice daily, and back to back at school. Now tips for smoothness, keyframe placement plus graphs, and keyframes with nulls overlapping. Good example of keyframing here because it is less than a quarter of a second and looks smooth, since humans can't analyze stuff in milliseconds. I forgot to mention to use graphs that are either mid or in or out because they make the transition shorter and give smoothness to the edit. For velocity, if you use Twixter, don't do graphs by the way. Since it is just speed and placement, it'll do separate tutorial if this blows up. Bad example of a transition, shake, blur, you know, because it is a slow effect transition.